here for my June favorites. Even though it's the 4th of July, I'm a little bit behind, but June has just been the craziest, craziest month ever. I don't know if I've ever worked as hard as I have this month. It's just been so crazy. Summer school and directing The Lion King. It's been a lot, but it's almost done. I have one week left of super, super hard work and tons of stress, and then it will be my actual summer, so I'm really excited for that. So that's why I'm a little bit late on my June favorites this month. I've got some beauty stuff, fashion, lifestyle, YouTubers to share with you, but before I get into that, I thought I would show you one of my favorite things for the 4th of July, because by my July favorites, these are gonna be gone. I just went to Marshalls to do a return, and they always have this brand of popcorn there. It's this, what is it even called? American Farmer All Natural. This is like a kettle corn and it has George Washington on a tractor. And then this one is salted caramel popcorn and it's got the Statue of Liberty. So I just thought these were really cute. Um, I buy these a lot as a prize for whoever gets the best score on my US history tests. And so there's one with um, Abraham Lincoln on it as well. I think there's one with like Benjamin Franklin. So they're all like US history themed popcorn. So I saw these at the checkout at Marshall's today and I was like, oh, these are perfect. I'll bring these to the 4th of July party that I'm going to later. Ooh. And I didn't know what to do with my nails for 4th of July, so I just did red and blue. There's no white, but whatever. We'll just, we'll just go with that. Okay, so I'll start with beauty. Why not? That sounds fun. Um, this month I actually have not been wearing very much makeup at all just because I don't have time and it's really hot and... But I do have a mascara that I've been wearing almost every day. Even if I don't wear anything else, I'll just put on a little bit of mascara sometimes. Um, so this is the Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara by L'Oreal. This stuff is really nice. See, it looks like a little telescope. Um, Kathleen Lights mentioned this on one of her videos. And this stuff is great. It's got a really, really tiny wand. You can see here. So it's good for the little bottom lashes and for some reason like even though it's so small it just really really lengthens your eyelashes I don't know what it is this stuff is just magical and it was really hard to find I went to a couple different stores so it seems like it's pretty popular but I definitely recommend this I've also been liking a lipstick from L'Oreal they have this little collection it's this collection exclusive I don't really know but they named everything after like movie stars and so this one is the JLo lipstick and this is just like a nude lipstick it's just yeah kind of a mauvey nude and so actually on camera it doesn't look very good because it kind of washes out my lips but in person it looks really nice and especially with just like some dewy JLo skin a little highlight I think this looks really nice it's just a pretty natural lipstick and they have a couple other people like I forget who else like I think like Julianne Moore but I was like hey JLo lips sounds good to me I'll take it and it smells really good like it tastes really good too so I like it skincare wise the best thing that I have been using this month and this is I think why I haven't really been wearing very much makeup because I don't need to because my skin is so much clearer than usual um, I mentioned this in my Lush haul but this is the Full of Grace serum and it doesn't look like a serum it looks like a little um, piece of soap and mine's actually kind of broken up but it's fine um, so this used to be a little bit bigger but this they say you can just rub it in between your hands and then apply it to your skin you kind of warm it up I just go ahead and put it straight on my face and then rub it in and this stuff is amazing it smells really good and it's just kind of a one-stop wonder I mean it does everything I've noticed that it has cleared up my face it's moisturizing they said that it's anti-aging it has um, mushrooms in it so apparently that's like the active ingredient but this stuff is fantastic I have been treating my skin horribly this month I've been so stressed and I haven't been eating well I haven't been sleeping I haven't been getting water but my skin has looked better than it usually does so I think if I'm using this and then also actually treating my body well that would be amazing so I definitely recommend this I think this is my favorite thing ever from Lush and a very very close second Thing from Lush is the Rose Argan Body Conditioner and I've been using this as a shaving cream actually so um, what you do is you just use this usually like after you cleanse your body you can just use this as a conditioner like you would for your hair but you put it on your body so I'm, I've dipped in there quite a bit it smells better than anything on earth it smells so good and I just always have trouble with shaving like I just always get ingrown hairs or like razor 
bumps or whatever so this has been the best thing it's really really moisturizing um, it gives your razor like a really nice soft surface to glide over I guess and then your skin your legs feel so good afterwards when you get out of the shower they already feel moisturized and it's so nice you can just kind of rub the rest of it on the rest of your body and it is so wonderful I love this stuff it's pretty pricey it is like $30 which is ridiculous but I've just struggled with shaving for years and years and years decades I guess and so since this has been kind of a solution for me getting a phone call. Of course I have Mariah Carey as my ringtone. <laughs> I got a call back later though. <sighs> anyway, this has just been a really great solution for me to avoid razor burn, so I think it's kind of worth it, especially in the summer when I'm shaving so much more often. In the winter, I probably don't really need it, but right now, it's been a lifesaver. One hair care item that I've also really been liking is this Harvey Prince Organics Sea Salt Spray, and I had a sample of this in one of my birch boxes, and I ended up purchasing it because this is so great. Like, it gives your hair some nice grip. Like, when I straighten my hair, it gets pretty slippery because I have to put so much in it, and it takes so long to actually get it straight, and then I kind of try and, like, curl it and give it some life again, and it doesn't always work, but with this Sea Salt Spray, bleh. But with this texturizing spray, I feel like I get so much more of it back. I'll even use this on my hair when it's curly. Like if I have like second day curly natural hair, then I spray this kind of in through the lengths and then I can put it up in like a bun, like a messy bun. And it has a lot more volume and grip and it just stays a lot better. And plus it smells so good. I don't know if I can smell it through this. Oh yeah, I can. This smells amazing. I mean, Harvey Prince is a primarily a perfume company I think so this smells just like perfume I mean if you forgot perfume you would be fine because this smells fantastic it's about $20 and I think I got it for $10 off because I had Birchbox points Let's see I'm just gonna use a little bit of it right now Ooh. <laughs> I like it. it. Smells so good. Mm, now I smell pretty. My fashion item for the month are these sandals and I showed these in like my teacher shoes video but I hadn't really gotten a chance to wear them very much but I've been wearing them all month long. They go with everything and then they add like a little bit of sparkle. They're super comfortable. They are flat but they just are comfortable for whatever reason. They are amazing. I love them. I always get compliments on them. I don't know what I would have done this summer without them. They are just my go-to shoes all the time. So these are from Soul Society. I'll link the website to Soul Society below and um, they have sales pretty often. I get an email from them like every single day about the sales they're having. So these might be on sale and you could get them for a little better deal, but I think they are so worth it. Random household item. Um, my husband and I are getting a new bed. Well, new to us. It's like a hand-me-down from my parents, but we had a full mattress we have a full mattress and now we're getting a queen so we needed to look into getting some new sheets and our favorite sheets that we had were these charter club just these damask solid sheets and so we had gotten these I think when we first got married so they're like five years old we really really liked them they're so comfortable they keep you cool in the summer and warm in the winter and we needed the queen size so I went on Macy's.com and if there's a sale you can find these for much cheaper so this color was not my first choice like I would have rather just had like white or brown or something like that um, so this is like I think the shade is reef it's kind of just like a aqua turquoisey but I don't even care <laughs> because these are so nice they feel so good and I, I think I could make these match with quite a few things. They are really, really pricey. So this is just the pillow cases, and these were $70, but I got them for $17, so totally worth it. And then these are the actual sheets, and these were $170, but I got them for $43. So I got such a good deal. I think that Macy's it's super expensive usually but if you can find good deals and then like use your Macy's card or, or if you're willing to kind of go with the color that not everybody else wanted then you can get a super good deal so I'm just excited I'm just saving these up for when we get our new bed and our new mattress so if you're in the market for new sheets I definitely recommend the Charter Club 
My last two June favorites are a soundtrack and a YouTube channel. So the soundtrack, as you can probably guess, is the Broadway version of The Lion King. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. I've been listening to it nonstop, of course, because I have to know all the songs for our play, but we are doing the actual songs from the Broadway show, and there's like five or six extra songs in the Broadway show that aren't in the regular movie. There's a song called Shadowlands that's so beautiful that Nala sings, and then this song called He Lives In You, which like Mufasa and then Rafiki sings, and that is like <laughs> my favorite song right now. Like All I do is listen to that soundtrack this month. If you like Broadway music at all, or like soundtracks or anything like that, and you haven't listened to The Lion King, go get it. It is so, so, so good. I love it. My final favorite is a YouTube channel. I found these two girls. Their YouTube name is IC Twin 2 and I'll link it below because it's a little bit hard to remember, but they're these two twins from Jamaica, and then now I think they actually live in Florida and they're like going to college there, and they just make kind of like chatty videos. They like talk about um, Jamaican stereotypes or like their hair or makeup or whatever. And they are so, so funny. I'll link below their um, weird questions tag. I found them like after I did my 15 weird questions tag, then it like came up as a recommendation. And I've been watching them nonstop. I love their accents. I love their little like twin dynamic. They are so funny. And I study, of course, Caribbean history all the time. I'm always doing Virgin Islands history. And so it kind of makes me feel like I'm getting a little bit of like authentic Caribbean culture when I watch them too. So they are just so super adorable. I love them. So definitely check out their channel. So anyway, those are my favorites for the month of June. I am so looking forward to July. I have some really, really exciting things coming up. My birthday's in July. I'm going to fulfill one of my lifelong dreams in July. I'll have to tell you about it as it happens. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm also planning on making a lot more videos in July. I just have not had any time at all this month, but next month I actually will have some free time that I can make some videos. So it's going to be good. It's going to be a good month. Thank you so much for watching and happy 4th of July. Mm -hmm.